in March 2009. There was a major conflict between the two main parties, the SLPP and the APC, and it accumulated that the headquarters of the opposition party was stormed and ransacked, basically. The outbreak of unrest in March 2009 was a shock for everybody, I think, for all political parties, for the government and also for the diplomatic community. What we did then, that we, uh, first of all, we intervened in the conflict itself, uh, but following this one, we created a round table. Uh, what I did on my side, that I invited the, what we call the core diplomatic group, the ambassadors of the main countries, so they, to back me up, because I think uh, if I negotiate, I don't negotiate uh, as a state, I negotiate as a, somebody who's employed by a member state organization. So there was a lot of support by all member states. There was a very clear message given to everybody that the international community has invested heavily into Sierra Leone and that we don't want them to go back to conflict and that there's a certain responsibility we all have. And I think that carried the day in the end and we had some tough negotiation because there are a lot of emotions in these type of things. But in the end we had a communique. I think the joint communique is actually quite an unusual agreement because it's not the usual peace agreement. It's actually a state building agreement and trying to give political parties, the state, a new boost in where actually the country has to go and that is to create stable political and um, institu institutions in the country which are able to manage this when we are gone.